So now we're going to talk a little bit about accessing structs using struct pointers. And uh, the main motivation for this comes in how C handles function parameters. So in C, parameters are passed by value, which means that the values are copied from the calling function into the function that's being called um, at the time that the function is called. Uh, and so any changes to that local variable inside of the function is not visible. Um, once you start passing around uh, structs, this can get quite expensive because the structs could be quite large and that's a lot of data you might have to copy around, especially um, if the uh, function is called many times. Uh, and so one alternative to this is if the function doesn't actually need a separate copy of the struct, you could just pass a reference to that struct using a pointer. So you would pass a pointer to a struct into a function, and that way the function can just access the memory for the, that has already been allocated for the struct and not have to make a copy of it. This has sort of the side effect that uh, changes made through that pointer are visible outside of the caller. So you need, do need to think a little bit about whether um, that is in fact intended. Um, one uh, common mistake here is that uh, if you make a change to the pointer itself inside of the function, so it's still a local variable inside the function. And so if you change the pointer itself rather than dereferencing it, you're actually just changing that pointer inside of the function. Um, and so uh, one way to sort of prevent you from accidentally doing this is to pass that function pointer as a const parameter. Uh, and this basically means that the compiler will check and make sure that you don't actually try to overwrite that pointer inside of the function. So this is a useful thing to do when you're passing structs by um, by pointer or by reference. Uh, note that this doesn't mean you can't change the data in the struct that the pointer is pointing to. It just means you can't redirect the local pointer inside of the function. Okay, so now that we have uh, pointers to structs, so here we uh, declare a vertex t, so this is a variable that is a struct, and now we're going to declare a pointer to that struct and we're going to initialize it by giving it the address of v. So um, one thing that we could do is we could dereference that pointer and then access the field x, uh, for, for example. And we would do that using this syntax. Uh, this syntax is a little bit clunky. We need these, the, the parentheses are actually not optional here because of how operator precedence works in C. Uh, and if that doesn't make sense, that's fine. Um, but this is kind of cumbersome. And so there is a special operator just for accessing fields through pointers. Uh, and it's generally referred to as the arrow operator. So it's a dash followed by a greater than symbol. Uh, and this is, like I said, generally referred to as an arrow. And this is an operator that combines a dereference and a field access. So it's basically used to access fields of a struct when you have a pointer to that struct. So here's an example of how we might rewrite the distance function using uh, vertex t pointers rather than vertex t's. And again, the benefit now is that we don't actually have to copy the entire struct uh, when we call distance. All we have to do is copy two pointers. However, we now have to use the arrow uh, syntax rather than the dot syntax because these are pointers and not struct variables.